Hare Krishna, here we are in Dharmasthalam in Karnataka, which is a holy place both for Jains and for Hindus. It's a big, big story and we can't tell everything now. This is the Murti of Bahubali. Bahubali, who is highly respected within Jainism, an ancient figure, second son of Rishabdev, who we know from the fifth canto of Bhagavatam as Bhagavan, but in Jain culture, Rishabdev is the first of the 24 Tirthankas. How many hundreds of years old is this? Established in 1972, recently. Recently in terms of long history. There are other big statues like this, Jain statues, in different places in Karnataka, Rajasthan. Traditionally in the Vedic culture, we don't have big statues like this outdoors. Because the idea is that the, the deity should be in the temple and worship properly. Whereas Srila Prabhupada criticized that in Calcutta, the statue of Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee is kept outside and 364 days a year the crows pass their droppings on top of it. And then one day a year they come and clean it up with the municipal brush, which is used for the drain. And then they do some ceremony. So traditionally this is not done in Hindu culture or Vedic culture, but now it's become some idea to do that has come, although traditionally it's not done. If so many people come here, tourists, this is in India, most of the tourism is to holy places. Unfortunately, most people, they come, they just take a photo and they don't inquire. Yet tirta buddhi salalai nakahi jidjaneshvam yeshu sa eva gokaraha. We find in the Bhagavatam that people who come to holy places only to bathe without inquiring on spiritual topics from the saintly people there, then they're no better than a cow or an ass. In other words, they don't take the real benefit. But some benefit is there. No doubt, people become pious by going to holy places. So, we should go to the holy places also and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. People will become benefited. And we can make holy places all over the world by going everywhere and chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Gaur Hari Premananda, Hari Hari Bo. You won't have Premanand in Jainism because the idea is similar to the impersonal Vedanta exposition of Shankaracharya. All glories to Srila Prabhupada who saved us from impersonalism and voidism. Hare Krishna.